What's up everyone? This is Gustavo. Welcome to vlog number 17. Just got back from the PAN 2017. Great tournament, over 3,000 competitors, a lot of new talents, a lot of upsets of new upcoming black belts in the scene. So awesome and always to see some changes. And I would like to say congratulations to three the BJJ Mental Coach Elite Athletes. João Miao who won the Black Belt Light Feather Division. Marcio Andrea who took second in the Black Belt Lightweight and Renato Cardoso who took third place in the medium heavy. So awesome job guys. Now let me ask you this. What got you here will get you there. Which means all the knowledge that you have, all the habits and behaviors that help you to get to where you at right now. Doesn't matter in Jiu Jitsu, in your personal and professional life. Are they enough to take you to a higher level if you're not only interested but committed to reaching another level to reaching your full potential is it enough well the answer is yours and this is the topic of today what got you here will get you there and as you already know i'm not trying to convince anyone of anything this is only my perception about the topic i'm pretty sure you have yours it doesn't mean that mine is right or wrong so whatever you feel is applicable to you use it and whatever you don't just put to the side so if you are not only interested but committed to growing evolving not only as an athlete but as a human being this video is for you in a jiu-jitsu context what got you here will get you there regardless of your belt right now which means the same techniques that you have that brought you to where you at today your competition strategy your physical training or your mental training or maybe your sleeping and eating habits that help you to be where you at right now in your jiu-jitsu journey will help you to get to another level some people may say yeah gustavo yes i feel that i don't need to learn anything new i think i'm good and i will reach another level i don't need to make any adjustments that's okay that works for you now maybe you may say you know what gustavo i have to be honest man no i need to make adjustments to my training i need to make some some changes in my habits, my routines, there I feel that they're holding me back. Great and congratulations for being honest to yourself. So today I want to introduce you a concept from the book called What Got You Here Won't Get You There. How Successful People Become Even More Successful by Marshall Goldsmith. In the book he mentioned that some people reach what he calls delusional success. Someone just get, reach some type of success right here and they say, I'm good. I don't need to improve in anything. I don't need to be up to date with what's going on. This is good. And this kind of attitude breeds even more resistant to change. And it's tough to reach your full potential without being not even flexible at all for changes that maybe habits and behaviors that might be holding you back from reaching your full potential and achieving the success you desire. And in the book, he gives seven steps to how we can change for the better. And the very first one that he spent some time was feedback. Now, this feedback can be offered by someone or you can ask to someone. And you can accept the feedback, but you don't have to agree. We can also disagree. For example, I moved to Arizona in 2000, October 2000. And the level of jiu-jitsu back then was very low here. So I have one student that told me that he wanted to take to another level, to compete in higher level. I said, okay, and I was willing to help him throughout the journey. So he was training and I saw him doing something wrong. And after the trainer said, hey, be careful when you do this here, people can counter this way. And he defended himself right away saying, no, but yeah, I do this and I do that. Okay, who you do this with? With the local people and high level, it's not going to happen. Well, yeah, but I do. Okay, that's fine. He accepted the feedback, but he didn't agree with it. Six weeks later, I went to California. First trip, actually taking my team there. And he lost exactly in the move that I told him to watch out for. So he didn't accept. He accept, but he didn't agree with it. And that's okay. It did not work for him, but that's something for him to reevaluate. Right. Now, I do have people, students that come to me, hey, Gustav, I want to improve in this. What do you think I should do? Hey, what do you think about this? And I'll give my honest feedback. And again, they accept and they, they decide if they agree or they disagree. So if you are interested in actually 
getting feedback for someone, make sure that you ask someone that you admire, that you trust, that they have your best interest in mind. And if it would be even better if they have been through the journey that you'll be going through right now. So you can really resonate with the feedback and with the message. So when you do ask someone for feedback, first of all, just listen. Don't interrupt, don't defend yourself, don't explain yourself, don't argue, just listen. After the person is done, and then you, you accept the feedback, and now we reflect on it, reevaluate, and then you decide if you agree or you disagree. If you agree, hey, what kind of adjustments I'm gonna have to make to improve, to implement this. So the message of this video is pretty simple. Open up your mind, new perceptions, reevaluate beliefs that might be holding you back and you're not aware of it, habits and behaviors. Getting feedback, it could be a big puzzle, a big piece of your puzzle to help you to get to another level. And if you are really committed to reach your full potential, you have to take in consideration feedback. And as I mentioned before, it's going to be very hard to reach your full potential with a delusional success mindset that some people have that is not flexible at all and completely resistant to change. It's going to be hard for these people reach their full potential and achieve the success they desire. So make sure that you are flexible too. And as Jim Rome, the motivational speaker Jim Rome said, things change when you change. So remember, what got you here will not get you there. Ooh,